Hello, my name is Robert Sabe Jr. I'm an environmental planning and policy student at Western Washington University studying under Dr. Troy Abel. For my senior project, I created an online interactive participatory map for the grassroots organization, The Forgotten People, that operates on the Navajo Nation. Uh, the purpose of this project is to give citizens access to a boiled down version of EPA abandoned uranium mine data. And this also provides citizens with the basic tools to visualize the spatial elements of potential environmental hazards. The uh, data I used for this came primarily from the 2007 EPA Abandoned Uranium Mine Screening Report. Um, so some of the, the basic um, elements of this, this map are the legend, where you can turn layers on and off. You have coal power plants, uh, new uranium mine locations, water haul route, um, critical habitat, which you can kind of see over here. And then you have a zoom tool. You can zoom in and out. You can also use this, uh, this magnifying glass to zoom in on areas. And there you go. You can zoom back out with that. Um, then there's a uh, different. There's different background maps that you can use. Topo map, street map. I like the aerial map. There's a bookmark tool where. The forgotten people identified a few areas that they wanted to be able to, to zoom into right away. So if you click on these, it, it'll zoom right into, like, this is the Black Falls Box Springs area. This is an area where there's uh, limited access to safe drinking water. Uh, we're going to focus on the Cameron area. Um, the participatory element, we have a drawn measure tool. And so if a citizen uh, has a GPS unit, they can go out into the field and if they identify something like a new uranium mine or a new drink or a drinking water source that people are using but hasn't been mapped out yet, they can use this and, and uh, add these data points on using the latitude and longitude bar down here. And so they add these data points on and then they can also draw lines in between these points or, you know, if they need to draw any other type of line, um, they can draw these lines and then it will give them the distance uh, in between you know, two points. And then once these are on there, you can minimize that and you can print this map off and then it can, you know, be distributed to community members or it could be forwarded to uh, a GIS specialist and they can add these data points onto the, onto the online map. So we're going to go ahead and close this off now. Uh, these, these icons up here allow users to zoom in or get more information on the different features. Uh, for instance, this is the uh, abandoned uranium mines. And so you can either, there, there's like 1,300 of these on here. So you can click on these individually and go through this long list. Or it also activates all of the, all of the um, different abandoned uranium mines within that layer so you can click on on the actual uh, mine on the map and then it will give you the information. Uh, another thing we added on this was a filter where you can filter by uh, chapter house. So if you click on click on those, you, if you zoom out you can see that uh, these these are just the uh, mines that are located within the camera on chapter. Uh, so um, there's, and there's other things that you can identify, like um, new, new proposed mines or uh, unregulated water sources. Um, so the, uh, one of the more important things that, that would, would uh, further this project and make it better is to add information on regulated water sources. Now currently, the EPA has the ECHO um, map where you can look at the um, places, regulated sources that have had issues with their water quality, but it, I think it would be important to have a system set up where there's geoda a geodatabase where you can live link um, current uh, water quality standards and, and different attributes that um, are different levels of, of contaminants or, or whatever in the, um, in the actual water. So uh, this is uh, the gist of my project. Um, if there's any other questions, feel free to email me. Uh, thank you for your time and interest.